What's up, Pisces? I am back with another one, okay? Here to deliver you this message. One of those messages being that abundance is your motherfucking birthright, all right? And if this is where you click off, baby, at least I got to speak that blessing over you. For those of you staying to collect your messages, because they are your message, all right? They're always exclusive to the viewer, never the tarot reader. I thank thee. Um, <laughs> truly, today is Saturday. Oh, God. What date? What's today's date? The 9th. Yes, Saturday, November 9th. Saturday, November 9th. I'm really excited to do this reading for you because even since last night, I was going to do a reading for y'all last night and I, I don't know, there was a need to meditate. There was a need, a need to meditate. Um, I also needed time for myself. And But ever since last night, since Friday, so that might, this might be for some of y'all that some shit went down last night, I have been feeling a message that needs to come out. So let's see what, what comes out, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and check for some reversals here, all right? You know I read reversals. I just prefer for them to come out based off of intention rather than probability. If you come across a tarot reader that does this any differently, which you more than likely have, it does not mean they do not come in with the divine, all right? I only fix other people's crowns on this channel. Highly recommend you only fuck with people who do the same, all right? Especially if they claim to be a part of the spiritual path. Because why are you worried about other people? Hello. <laughs> for real. Okay, co-workers, friends, family members, watch out for that shit. That shit is fucking weird. I'd be careful with that, all right? Don't fuck with that energy. All right. Let's go ahead and pray over the message. Thank you, angels, ancestors, and guides for this wonderful message we're about to receive on behalf of the Pisces Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, to whom I am a part of, but this reading I am not. Please remove my energy out of this as usual. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, yes, yes. We ring the bell to clear energy as well as call it forth in case you're wondering why anyone and on any channel or spiritualist uses a bell every now and then it's it's for that okay all right let's see what's here oh someone missed out on something oh someone done missed out on something Someone done missed out on you, Pisces. Oh, Lord. Someone missed out on you. I don't know if this person's coming back, but this is someone thinking about something. This could have been last night. Did some shit go down? Please let me know in the comments if shit, some shit went down last night. Because when I tell you that ever since last night, I've been feeling like I need a post. I need a post. There's a message. There's a message. Let me know. But regardless, I have two fours here. This is about alignment. This is about alignment. The reality is, is that you offered your cup to someone and they did not take it and, and they are watching you and you are doing well. You are doing, a, you are very abundant in your life. Stability is, is doing, everything's doing well. Money's good. Friends are good. You might even be in a relationship. Did someone reach out to you last night or something? Because when I tell you this is the energy of someone in full regret and also watching you. So either some shit went down last night or they like, came across your page or something you know what I mean your profile on social and was like oh shit they're in a relationship there's something someone has come to a a cold realization that they they made the wrong decision for themselves here we have the four of cups four of cups this could even be a friend might not even be a lover this could be a friend of yours that you were like you know what I'm not gonna take this shit no more this ain't reciprocal the way you treat me and so you walked away and they see you doing very well in your life. And they're like, shit, I really wish I had Pisces energy still around me. You know what I mean? Well, this was somebody, boy, because this four of cups is very telling, very telling. Someone regrets everything because, look, you try to offer your cup. You try to be a good friend or brother or sister or lover to someone and they did not receive your cup. And they've done this to other people. Whoever this is, is watching you. They might have found you last night or like I said, some shit actually popped off last night that you're going to put in the comments and you'll be like, actually, the motherfucker done hit me up. You know, what I mean? <laughs> because someone is watching you. Someone is watching and they wish they were you, baby. I'm sensing jealousy. Um, there is a certain level of actually not even jealousy, coveting, which is worse than jealousy because when you covet it's literally wanting what that person has. Not the same vibe, not the same status. It's you saying, I want that fucking bell that Moonchild has and I'm gonna steal it from her because I want it. That's coveting. 
Someone is seeing you and saying, I want what Pisces has, whether it's for myself or to embody it. This is wild because they're watching you right now, Pisces. Okay, listen, four of cups. It's about alignment. All right. Fours and terror about alignment. Then we got the page of wands. Someone is watching you and wishing they were you. One more confirmation. I'll give it to you. Queen of wands. Listen, they wish they were you. Let me explain this a little bit better. The page, I'll put this card down too. This page, and I've said this before, I've pointed this out in this reading before. This person, not, not this reading, in on my channel, right? In this, in this card, this person is literally dressed from head to toe in fucking winter gear. Boots, multiple layers, okay? Multiple layers, okay? But they are surely in the desert. Because this, the artist is using this depiction of someone who wishes they were somewhere else than where they are now. You get it? Okay, this person's in winter gear, fucking in the desert. And who are they looking at? What is this? What's over by my arm? Oh, this is them. Or this is you. This is what they want. They see that you've mastered something. Because Listen, we both know what it is. All right, Pisces, first of all, you, you do have that sort of je ne sais quoi. All right? But more importantly, you have ascended. It's called accountability. It's called growth. And it looks good on you. Okay? And with that accountability and growth came acceptance. And with that acceptance came peace. And with that peace came stillness. And when you got that stillness, you were able to hear yourself and see yourself and take control of your life. Look at her holding the wand on the throne. This woman is holding sunshine and she also has control of her life. Some of y'all might have a black cat, actually, or, or a black dog or something like that. You might have Leo in your chart somewhere because I do see Leo here. I love taking in the symbolism of uh, cards and we do see more of that Leo here on the... So this is all about being regal, knowing who you are, standing in your power. So this person sees this about you and they're like, well, shit, how come I don't have that? How can I get Pisces back in my life so I can have access to that? Almost like you're a good luck charm. At the end of this card is another four, okay? And it's the four of wands this time. Fours in tarot are about alignment. There is a drastic change, I mean, not change, difference in who this person is and who you are, baby, for sure. Look, this is them. This is them making bad decisions and wishing that they were some somewhere else that they are somewhere that somewhere other than where they are now in life or even a different person. Like I said, you. And then this is your energy. Queen of Wands. Four of Wands. Look at the imagery that the artist chose to use here. I pointed this out before. Those two wands, 11, 11. Wish fulfillment. Baby, you're there. And this person sees it and they wish that they were there too. Mm. Crossing this energy is the Pisces card, moon card. Something you don't see. This is something you don't see or you don't know. Listen, I know that we do do readings. Do do. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm fucking goofy as shit. I'm fucking Pisces. Um, <laughs> listen, I know that we have touched on past lovers and past things. This is This is not telling you to take this person back. I want to know what's coming out next. This reading, this message is coming out for a reason. So either this person about to contact you um, and you're about to swerve on them. Or regardless, you need to know that someone is watching you and has their eyes on you. The evil eye is a real thing, y'all. Talking shit about other people, wishing them ill will, coveting what they have is the evil eye. Okay. And so if you're ever feeling kind of funny, you know, you just drive in or you're at work and you're like, I don't understand. Why am I so upset? Why am I so edgy? That shit don't belong to you. If you didn't wake up that way, that shit don't belong to you. All right. That is some karmic energy being thrown your way. Return to sender. Say it three times. Return to sender. Ret in fact, say it more than three times if you had to. Say it more than three times if you have to. Say it until the feeling goes away. Return to sender. Return to keep saying it. Okay. And I've told you guys this before, and I will say it again. The worst I wish, the worst I've ever wished on someone is that they find themselves in someone else so they discover who they are. Maybe that is something that a mantra that you should start invoking. It is fair, it is just, it wishes someone growth and accountability. 
I'm just saying. Like I said, crossing this energy is the moon card. This person could be Pisces as well, but this has a lot to do with you. This message is about you. You're needing to hear this. That there, I think there's more than one person that is seeing you do better in life. And it's bothering more than one person. How stable you are, how sure of yourself you are, and the fact that your trajectory is way, way up, baby. Okay, because these are people or a person that knew you when you were at a possibly at a low point. Okay? Yeah. Damn, this is crazy. All right. So we got the Pisces card, Christ, crossing this energy, the moon card, things that are unseen. So it's not just Pisces energy. This is things that are unseen. I'd like to know why this message is coming out. I want to know why this message is coming out. Why is this message coming out specifically? <gasps> Wheel of Fortune came out. Some of you are about to ascend. Some of you are literally on the verge of something big. Whether you're ascending financially, I mean, not financially, spiritually, or you are about to hit a plateau um, in your financial stability, some shit's about to pop off. You have something coming to you, a brand new cycle. And, and oh, I've said this before, when you clear shit out, there's, you know it too. They be smelling it in the fucking air. Oh, Pisces, clear some shit out. Where's Pisces? Where? Suddenly they want to reach out. Suddenly, friends, family. I mean, people that you haven't heard from in forever suddenly want to contact you. They want to keep that karmic tie or they just feel a shift in the, in the energy, right? You got the Wheel of Fortune here. But the thing about the Wheel of Fortune is that it presents itself, but only you can spin it. You must practice free will. It, the, the Wheel of Fortune can pass you by if you do not spin it. It is meant to be spun. So let me get three more cards on this Wheel of Fortune. What is coming to Pisces? What's going on here? <gasps> three of Cups, Soul Tribe, good times. Maybe some of you have been lonely for a while. Maybe you cut out a lot of friends and even stopped talking to some family um, and haven't been dating because you realize, listen, if I don't know, if I can't get a hold of what my dating style should be, I'm just not going to date. It's causing more chaos for me, more pain than anything. And so many of you decided, okay, um, I'm going to do that in your isolation. Some of you, I'm, I'm, I'm picking up that some of you, if not many of you, have isolated for a while. For a while. You don't need to go back to these people that are trying to resurface. Lovers, friends, family members that are suddenly starting to resurface, wanting to know what you're up to, getting all up in your fucking business and shit. You don't need to. You don't need to. You don't need to. Some of y'all are thinking, well, maybe they've, maybe they've changed. Bitch, maybe they didn't. <laughs> maybe, did you think about that? Maybe they didn't. All right. Listen, this is coming out for a reason. You have a wheel of fortune. You got the three of cups. You got soul tribe coming to you. You got new friends. You got people that love you, that light up when they see you come into the room. Pisces! That smile when they see your text or notification come across their phone screen. Hello. You got them kind of people coming in. Hello. All right, don't go back to these past people. Don't go past these past back to these past people. Seven of coins. Yes, it's confirming what I'm I knew it. Some of y'all have really been wondering. So I'm a I'm a good person. I'm a good woman. I'm a good man. I've done the work. I'm pre, I'm I'm I, I'm preserving self. Where is my soul tribe? Where is my my the my soulmate? It's coming. This is now I know who I'm talking to. Now I know who I'm really talking to. Because you, you're you about to give up or even go back to people because, I don't know, maybe some time has passed and you think, oh, well, enough time has passed. And and maybe, maybe you know, I have boundaries now. You know, they won't get over on me. Like, no, don't do that. Don't do that. We don't go backwards, okay? Let me get one more card. One more card on this. Someone is coveting you. You have, mm, yeah, be careful. I'm speaking protection, protection over your mind, over your spirit, that even on your loneliest days that you do not get desperate enough to get back with someone like this. Friendship, lover, coworker, anything like that. Mm -mm, no, I rebuke that. Nine of cups, I need, oh, listen, you are in your nine of cups energy and you, do you really feel like, come on now, you're in your nine of cups energy. You have this wheel of fortune coming to you. It's it's obviously so much easy it's easier for me to say it than for you to feel it. 
okay, or to know it, right? <laughs> to be sure of what I'm about to say, but you are there. It is coming. It is right around the corner. Please do not meet up with whoever's trying to reach out to you. Lover, past a friend, ex-friend, I mean, ex-coworker. You don't need to. This is coming, okay? This nine of cups, you are in your nine of cups energy. You're attracting. You're attracting and you have a new life coming to you, a new cycle. It's probably already happening for some of you. Some of you are... Are, are starting to see things around you come together. Crossing this energy is the Empress card. Is the Empress card. I said, I wish that we were friends so I could lift you up because I get it. You're kind of like, all right, life is good, but there's things that I want. I would like more company. I would like closer friendships. I would love to have a companion to share life with. I get it. It's coming. Baby, it's coming. It's coming and you're going to stop listening to my tarot readings and all these fucking tarot readings. It's coming. Okay, that void, that that missing piece that you're searching for, it is coming. You ain't even going to ever come on my channel again. I mean, I want you to, but <laughs> no, but for real, it's coming. That soul tribe, family, love, it is on its way. Financial stability. Some of you guys have been waiting on, on funds. It's coming. The funds are coming. Some of you guys have been waiting on results of, of some sort of therapy, um, physical therapy or, or treatments. You're about to get some really great news. You're about to get some really great news. I like, I almost broke just now in tears because What's been put on you, Pisces, in so many different ways, love, friendships, even family dynamics, because I'm seeing that many of you were the black sheep or just used a lot for your energy, even from your own family members. Um, you were not wrong to walk away. You were not wrong to preserve your energy and your power. All of this time that has passed was to bring you to this, okay? Okay. Because we have the Empress card and the Empress, she attracts. Everything comes to her. Whether you are male or female. Everything comes to this Empress. And she don't even worry about the things that don't show up on her front door. She don't even worry about it. Nope, not at all. Not, e not even for a second. If she wants something and it doesn't show up when she wants it to show up, she says, oh, it must happen for a reason. Bet. <laughs> you know what I mean? She don't, she don't worry for shit. Damn, Pisces, I don't know why you're needing to hear this. Someone must have reached out. Or you're thinking about reaching out to other people. You might be, you might be thinking about reaching out to an ex or to an old friend. Or Don't do this. Don't do it. Please. Please. You are on the cusp. You have 10. Listen, Wheel of Fortune, Three of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. You have too much coming to you to let these people in, let these energies in, and they want to come in. They've been waiting, waiting to enter, re-enter your life. Don't let them. Don't let them. They are not meant to come with you. Look at this. I just want to show you something. This four cups. Remember how I told you you were giving to someone? This could have been an old friend that just wasn't reciprocal with you, an old lover that was, you know, didn't give equally at all. Okay, you see these three cups here? Mira, look at this. Just, just, just give me a second. Look what's coming to you. We ain't doing this energy no more, Pisces. We are not doing this anymore. You need to walk away. Listen, maybe one of you has not walked away from someone or you're feeling really in the dumps about feeling rejected and dejected from your friend groups, from a lover, whatever. It is time for you to put your chin up Baby, let me fix it for you, okay? To put your chin up and say, mm -mm, I'm better than them. Say it out loud. I am better than this. I deserve better. Because the only thing that made whoever this person was special was your own ability to uh, aggrandize them. I mean, you put them on a pedestal. It was you that made them favorable. Do you understand what I'm saying? It was you. It was always you. Take you out of it, they're nothing. And I don't mean that in like, a, I, honestly, I really don't mean that in an egotistical way. Even if you're not Pisces' son, 
I'm telling you right now that many of you put people on pedestals that don't deserve to be there. And the only reason they're on that pedestal is because you put them there. The only thing special about them is you making them feel special. You putting the special label on them. That's the only thing. Really, they ain't shit. This having to come up for somebody. I don't know who this is for. I don't know what this is about. <laughs> or well, I do, right? Because I've touched on it, but I don't go back to whoever this is. Someone is watching you. And you know what? They might even use sweet words like, Pisces, you're doing so well. You look so good. They might even apologize to you. This does not mean you have to accept someone back in your life. Jim Carrey said it best. I just told a client this the other day too. And I've said it on this channel, I think, because um, I, like, I, I like quoting people. Um, Jim Carrey said it best. Just because you're not my friend doesn't mean that we're enemies. Okay? I still want you to eat, just not at my table. Apply some of this savviness and experience that you've gained in this time of isolation to this. Because there's something going on. Something's going on in the ether. Okay? Where they can sense your energy. They And, and they're, they're coming in. They're going to contact you. Hey, let's get drinks. Hey, let's talk. Let's hang out. Let's go for coffee. Oh, I missed you. You know, ever since we last talked, I, I didn't feel like, it, you know, it, it wasn't, I don't like the way things ended, blah, blah, blah. They're going to say all the right shit. And it is solely to get into your life. They want to see what you're doing. How are you able to um, become successful or grounded or whole or what? I'm telling you, I don't know if this is a friend or a lover or a family member, but someone is watching you and they want what you got. They can go get it their own fucking selves. I rebuke that energy. I truly do. And I speak self-preservation over you. All right, Pisces. It's been a short reading. I don't really want to tap into this person's energy anymore. Um, this is obviously a guidance, uh, guidance on someone returning, um, that want, they want what you got. That's probably going to be the title. They want what you got and they don't know that it doesn't, it doesn't work that way. People do this in relationships too and friendships. They surround them. They, they tend to grab narcissists tend to, and greedy people tend to gravitate towards what people who have what they want in the hopes that being in close proximity to it, they will in somehow, in some way, take it on or embody it. This is false. This is folly. This is artifice. You are a fool if you think that you can just, being around success is going to make you successful. Being around kindness is going to make you kind. If you're a cross watcher, um, you better stay the fuck away from my Pisces. Okay. Like for real, I'm, I'm not with it. I don't, I don't, I don't like the way you're moving. I don't like your agenda with Pisces at all. Pisces got to where they are um, because, uh, well, not because of you. <laughs> okay, okay, that, that. I don't. Yeah, again, Pisces, this is you. You've mastered something in your life, and there is someone that is watching someone that is like fuck Pisces tried to take me with them or tried to give me their cup and now all I can do is watch from the sidelines this is this was the first remember the first yeah and again you have this new wheel of fortune coming to you money's coming to you prosperity soul tribe new relationships it's all coming to you it's all here so if you're thinking, oh, I don't, I don't know, it's just, it feels like it's not, and I could really use a friend. Nope. You won't get friends. Wait, please be patient. Please, your ancestors, your spirit team is begging that you just hold on a little bit longer. Okay. All right. I love you so much. Um, we do have, like I said, uh, two fours in your reading. Those were the only reoccurring numbers that came out in your reading um, on the table are the, the two four. So this is about alignment. You are being divinely guided to this. You are on the right path. You are. Okay. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Feel free to reach out if you need a personal reading or anything like that. I'll more than likely do um, another reading only because first of all, I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> so I would like to do another reading. Okay. I love you. Bye.